We got more helmets. So many more helmets coming in today. So it's a good day. Good day. Good day. Oh, good day. Good day. Good day. Let's check these out. Okay, so many of you are aware that uh, I did a video just recently on the Nenki, it's their dual sport, NK301, I believe it was. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it was. These are the ones I was actually most excited for. So I'm gonna bring these out one at a time. They're the same helmet, but different designs. So I'm gonna do this in a single video, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out for a rip. We'll come back and talk about them. So, number one, ready? Check that out. Spider-Man. So that's a Spider-Man helmet. Look at that. Spider-Man. Now is it officially licensed? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. I couldn't tell you. But awesome. So here we go. Visor right there. Up. Awesome. Nice little sun shield. Comes up nice and easy, down. In the front here, just so you guys can see it, you're gonna have a main vent. So the vent's down, vent up. Same thing on the sides here, you'll have a vent that you can open and close on this side, and one that you can open and close this side as well. So there you go, back and forth. On the top, we have them as well, two vents. So one up here, nice little click back and forth, and a vent up here that you and I can click back and forth. Now on the back, we have a couple air vents. They're not big by any means, but air vent right here, air vent right here. And I believe on the bottom, two small little air vents here. As far as all the cushioning inside this, again, all removable. Has a nice little, little chin flap going on here to help with any extra wind that may be coming in. Bonus, of course, with these, just like the other Nenki ones is it comes with two visors. So you get the nice colored one here. So this is kind of a reddish one as well as a clear. That's cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. That's, come on now. You know, you have a nice red and black or some blue in there. That's gonna look sharp. That's gonna look sharp. Next one. This is the one actually I think I like the most. Here we go. Boom. Look at that. Good old Iron Man. Right, it's got more of a goldy colored visor. Spin you around like that. Same visor, right? So just be aware, now I have my headset hooked into this one so this isn't coming with it, but if you guys are interested, I'll put a link up so you can see more about the headset that I'm wearing. So same idea, this is the Nenki. A few things to be aware, it's the NK856. They are DOT certified, so that is fantastic. So same kind of idea. We have our visor, we have our top, we have our ability here to bring down the shield, which is over here somewhere, right back here. So there's our shield, which is super cool. And the exact same vent. So same helmet, just different design. So they have these in different designs, but they also have these, which is cool, actually in different colors. So let's say you wanted to be Iron Man, but you didn't really like the gold and red, or you wanted Spider-Man and you didn't want the red and blue, you actually wanted it in a black with different colored spider webbings. They have some different variations of the helmet, which again, are super cool. Let's go outside for a ride, put a test to it, see what we think. Let's go do that right now. All right guys, so we're on the motorcycle and we're gonna go out for a rip to see what we think of this helmet. And again, I don't know if you guys had watched one of my previous videos where I was riding the Nenki helmets. I had a dual sport on, which is my other one, which I was really a fan of. Uh, this one I actually got a size smaller it comes in at a uh, it's funny because it comes in actually as a large not an extra large so you end up getting a different size helmet but this one fits pretty much the same so the only thing I can think of is that these helmets compared to the dual sport are a little rounder maybe you know more circular is my guess i don't know if i'm 100 percent accurate in that i'm really just guessing 
but for me it this time it feels again really good bonus of today hopefully is that we will be able to get this bike and helmet out on the highway here to see what kind of like soundproofing it is so my hope is that we've got some good soundproofing put my visor up here uh, visors good and dark you know it's bonuses is of course they come with a clear visor as well which is uh, super useful because if you and I were driving at night with this helmet on I'd say it'd be actually a tad on the dark side on the dark side it's warm out today for sure definitely warm out today not like hot but in comparison to what it's been 22 degrees out Celsius so not too bad be nice when I get out on the highway so we're going to go visit a friend of mine Ryan and uh, we're going to go for a ride together so I figured this was a good time to test this helmet so I'll get a nice little highway rip to get out to his place so we'll see once we get out there Right. Now the other nice thing of course is you know this thing has the dual vents so or the dual visor so on this side if you see it you have a little slider for this. Now the nice thing is it doesn't come down too far. I've seen a lot of them that come down and hit the bridge of your nose. This one doesn't but it's got good you know comes down far enough for sure and it's easy to pop up and down. Clicks into place really nice. You can do it with a thumb. Doesn't it's not difficult by any means. Uh, in regards to vents and I want to do this before I get out on the highway but in regards to vents so you have one kind of vent that's well behind where my camera is right now and then you have two vents on the side here I don't know if I can point them out but they're right here one is like right there and the other one is like right there on this side I guess you guys can see that now the vents on this are fairly small but they're there so you got one two three on the front a two on the top again small easy seems easy enough to get to with with gloves on I've been having no problems so I wouldn't say they're too bad to hit so you can see on this one there's a little like button right here which you can slide it closed slide it open uh, same thing on the top if you feel across the top the only thing is is when it's your visors up it kind of covers them but still good a friend of mine has a helmet and he was like when he's riding he gets a whistle when he's riding when he's got his visor up so I want to hear of this one I've never really heard any kind of whistle but supposedly when his visors up he gets a whistle between where the wind comes underneath his visor and the helmet so something to test out because I don't want to whistle like I like whistling I can't whistle can't whistle for crap Anyways, all right, I'm going to turn you off, and we will connect back once we get closer to the highway. Okay, guys, so we're on the highway. Well, we're not really on the highway, but I'm doing I'm doing about 90. So I think that's, that's highway-esque, I'd say. We are going to be coming up on the highway fairly soon. But, again, this has to be one of, as far as my helmets go, and I don't spend... You know, I'll be honest with you, I don't spend a lot on helmets. I probably should once in a while, but I go through helmets so fast. Um, so, you know, I have HJC, I have some Vegas, I have some G-Max, I have whatever. Um, and to be honest with you, I think this is one of the quieter helmets that I have. So, and because I have this like GoPro mount on that straps onto the side, the, the actual, uh, chin flap or whatever you want to call it that piece that kind of comes out that can help I'm getting a little bit of extra wind in there which normally I wouldn't oh you guys but so I would say that normally it may even be a little quieter because I'm not getting quite the seal that I normally would if this wasn't on it because again my visor can't close quite as much as it normally would it's again etc etc but this thing is is doing all right and again they're super comfortable and not that heavy for you know especially since this is as far as I know just a polycarbonate helmet 
Um, so it's not, you know, it doesn't have fiberglass, it doesn't have Kevlar, it doesn't have any of that coolness inside it to help reduce the weight. But, you know, I don't find this helmet very heavy. So that's, that's all right. And come on now, let's be honest. I am Iron Man. <laughs> I'm not really Iron Man. Because then I possibly wouldn't be on a bike. I would be, you know, flying or something. Because there's no need to be on a bike if you're Iron Man. Unless you want to be cool like this, which is all right. So, I got two guys in front of me that aren't quite going as fast as I was hoping that they would go so that I could get up to speed. They're hitting their brakes for no reason, which is excellent. We're, this is an 80 zone and we're doing 60. Okay, so far, hopefully this is the guy that's the slow guy. Let's go. My favorite is when a guy just kind of cuts off to get in front of you all and then goes slow. I'm like, thanks, because behind me, there's absolutely no one. So if you would have waited two cars, you wouldn't have upset anybody, except you would have had to wait two car lengths. Oh well, rambling. All right, I'm gonna kick out for a few minutes and uh, I'll kick back just before we hit the highway so we can see what this thing is like. So far, I'm very happy with it. It's, a, it's very quiet. You know, we don't get, we get a little bit of wind coming in. Of course, I have all the vents open. The front vent is open, but again, this one is underneath the actual mount so I'm sure it's not getting very much wind if any so I really just have the two little side mounts but I'm not hot that's good all right let's put the visor up for a minute just to see if we can hear any whistle and no whistle so no whistle coming in really there's not a lot of wind now I'm got a big windscreen in front of me so you know, I don't really have a big worry about that. See, this guy's gonna kick out in front of here, are you? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Good. All right, but, you know, I'm doing about 80 right now. No whistle, no sound. It's good, the visor kind of stays, whoa. Visor kind of stays where it's supposed to be. You know, even down here, it stays right where it needs to be. So it's got a good, a good hinge on it. So yeah, that's good. All right. I'll kick back in a second when we head on to the highway. Alright my friends, so we are now on the highway going at, we are moving at about 110, what are we at? Nope, 120 kilometers an hour is what we're traveling at. And uh, there's, like because of my protection for one, I'm not getting any wind buffeting or anything like that, which is awesome. But it's actually surprisingly quiet. I am having no issues with sound. Uh, no issues with you know any kind of excess wind coming in through any of the little creeks or creases in the visor so that is also really good super happy with that <laughs> my little 360 camera is just like vibrating like there's no tomorrow over here because I'm up at well 140 right now passing so I'm gonna slow down a tad bit here going a little on the fast side uh, but I wanted to test his helmet so that you guys could get a good idea of, you know, what it's like. So, right, cuts through the wind like a butter. Oh, yes. So super happy with it. And you know what? It looks great. And on days like today, it's super, super good. It's got a nice tint to it. The, the lens or the visor isn't ridiculously dark. That's one of the things I was hoping for, that it would be tinted but not crazy tinted, which this isn't, which is really good oops tip my mirror down a little bit too far there we go um and if i needed to of course i can pull this up just so you guys can see it right and just kind of come back here and be like and whoop and now we got even darker right so we're we're rocking the we're rocking the nightshade so we got that and we got this and we're extra dark i'm gonna pop that back up because i find that's too dark right now because i've also got sunglasses on so we don't need the two of them together by any means. All right, I'm gonna pass these guys. All right, um, I'm not gonna yap for too much longer because uh, I should be concentrating more on riding because I'm on the highway passing guys and I really don't want to uh, drive into the back of anybody. Plus I'm going to a friend's house that moved into a new house and I've never been there before. So I really should 
be watching my GPS here to make sure that I don't miss my turn. Alright guys, I'm going to leave you guys there. If you'd like to, I'm going to put a link down below to where you guys can pick these up. These are really nice helmets for the price. You know what, I think these, even though they're priced from a, from a low to like mid, I would I would definitely put them at mid mid quality for sure, if not maybe even a little higher just because of the sound isolation that I'm getting. Now I'm saying that based on the fact that I've never worn a four or five or six hundred dollar helmet. I, I'm going to throw that out there. But out of all the helmets that I've worn, and I've worn two three hundred dollar helmets, this one would compete with those if not surpass those without any question. So how is it going to be in a crash? I don't know. I don't know. I, I would say good. The padding feels really nice. It's really snug. The fit was really good. My head size, just so you guys know, is about 61 centimeters. So 61, 61 and a half, depending on, <laughs> you know, if I have a big head that day or not. Um, but other than that, I went to a large. So, you know, that would probably be the upper limit of getting a large. I wouldn't go too much bigger, but it fits nice and snug for me. It's very comfortable. The padding is really comfortable. And of course, the padding is all removed. And of course, oops, this way it's ending. And of course, it's DOT certified. So it is a DOT certified helmet, which is excellent because you want to make sure you have one of those because you kind of have to. Part of the law, right? All right, my friends, that's it. Link down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to pay some more attention to riding. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Later guys! Alright my friends, so we're back and uh, I have to say this thing fits really well, super happy with it, super comfortable. I usually take, as I had said, usually take an extra large in almost all my helmets and actually in the Nenki dual sport i took an extra large in this helmet i actually am taking a large so i actually sized down and i'm very happy that i did i don't think that an extra large would have fit well it would have been a little bit too big for me so i think that sizing is good these helmets in my opinion are a little bit more of a rounder helmet versus an oval helmet which the dual sport seems to have more of an overly fit to it but the fit and finish of this is fantastic. Again, it is DOT certified, so that's fantastic. No concerns there. And as you can see as I'm riding, it's it's a it's a showstopper. You know, it's people are looking, people are checking you out. People are like, is that Spider-Man? Is that Iron Man? I don't know. I don't think I am, because there is only one one Iron Man. I am Iron Man. And that's it. For the price, you're looking at about 95-ish dollars US for this helmet. You can't beat that. I don't think you can beat that for this. Again, DOT certified, has pretty good ventilation. The vents are fairly small, so they're fairly small like slits in here. But I didn't have any issues. I was riding around and it was Celsius, mid-20s. Now I do think if you were going to get into that 30 degrees, it may get a little warm. The uh, air vents aren't big by any means. You're not going to get a lot of flow through it, but I think enough for sure. The ability to open and close this really nice. You actually even have on this side, on this side of the helmet. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little piece right there. And at first I was like, I'm not sure what that is, but it's a lock, right? So when it's forward facing, this of course can open. And when it's pulled backwards, you can't open this, so it seals the helmet up, which is, I don't know, it's pretty cool. The only thing I did notice with that, and it's on both of these helmets, is that when I was riding, at first I was like, what is this black line that's like right right here? And it's that lock. So, really cool for, you know, if you have to transport this somewhere to make sure the visor stays down. Or it could be something if you're actually riding and just want to make sure that the visor doesn't, it seals really good so it's down in that position and easy enough to just slide it forward when you're done. And there you go, you're back to the races again. 95 bucks, DOT certified, looking stylish. Links down below, you should go get one. You got all, you got Iron Man, you got Spider-Man. Happy days, happy days. Two of my new favoritest helmets. Yep, as we said, Links down below, go pick one up, go pick them both up, whatever. And uh, that's all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Nenki, I'd never heard of them. Love them. All right, my friends, talk to you later.